is my framework for financial success? And it's three little words that we got to remember, which is building, keeping, and passing wealth. And by building wealth, firstly, we're looking for cash flow, something that gives us cash flow. For example, our jobs, um, our, our businesses, those all provide cash flow. And basically, if we're working, we have a thing called active income where we're showing up at at our job, we're doing the whole nine to five, and at the end of the month, we're getting salary. So we are trading time for rands there. So if if we don't have time to trade for rands, we can't get this active income. All right, so once we've established a source of active income, all right, now we have our cash flow. And with that cash flow, we got to start budgeting and saving. And we're going to take a deep dive into budgeting and saving in a little while. But if you're really savvy, you're going to use um, as much as you can. Use that cash flow to allocate it into investing for passive income. Because passive income is income that you gain without trading time for rands. It's your money working for you. So your money is making money, is making money, is making money. And you can read these notes in your own time, but you catch the drift, right? So this is your wealth building stage. Active income and converting active income to passive income. And the long-term game here is if, if eventually, if your passive income can match up to your active income, why do you need your job? Okay, that's the ultimate goal. That's the dream we all want to reach where we have this passive income. We don't have to trade our time for rents. And I think that's one of the things I, I remind my kids all the time is that um, we talk about career options and trading time for rands and I always tell them leverage technology right where you're not trading time for rands okay so that's the wealth building phase active income passive income and just mastering those skills of uh, investing budgeting saving to help you build wealth so we've established a source of wealth whether it's great or small um, whatever the case is we need to keep that wealth and protect that wealth and some of the components of wealth protection is firstly you're shielding from taxes all right we pay an awful amount of taxes in the country we got to be very tax efficient we got to be very aware of our tax exemptions the rebates the deductions uh, the exclusions the juristic entities that we can use to shield from taxes okay and Uh, A thing that is often overlooked is inflation. Inflation is the silent tax. It's like a little worm in your wallet or in your purse that's just eating up all those notes. That's literally what inflation does. So when you have funds sitting in a bank account, giving you lower amounts of interest, and for example, let's say 3% interest, and inflation is uh, at 5%, that little inflationary worm is eating 2% of your money every year. Okay, so it's very important to be investing at a rate higher than inflation. Then we also want to protect our source of income and protect our ability to earn an income. So if you're a business owner, we've got to protect the business, protect the assets in the business that are generating an income. If you're in machinery, you have this key piece of machinery that's manufacturing something. And if this machine is down, you have no cash flow. So we got to ensure that. If you're in a service-related business, you're going to ensure uh, the, the people that are providing those key services because if they are no longer around, you want to be able to hire somebody to replace them. Okay, and if you're an employee, and I know many of us are in this position, is you, we want to protect our ability to earn an income. Now, the only time you won't be able to work is if you're sick, or if if you physically can't, you're disabled and you can, can no longer work in your profession. Uh, you got to work in, to do anything to basically get cash flow. But if you protect your ability to earn an income, you don't have to stress so much about your your cash flow. Okay, this is why we have things like life insurance. And especially for parents, you know, it's our duty to get to our, our kids at least to 18, at least to get them a matric um, so if we pass prematurely, they need to have the funds available to, to complete the education and not worry about, about funds, uh, school fees and those kind of things. 
So this is what, uh, of why a product like life insurance is so important. Okay, that's that's a form of wealth protection because you're protecting your salary if you're not around to earn that salary for your family. Okay, but money you can enjoy in your lifetime uh, is things like uh, to protect against disease and to protect against disability. All right, because if your body can't function that way, the bills don't stop and you still need cash flow. You might exhaust your sick leave at work. You exhaust your, your medical aid. What are you going to do? Okay, so that is the reason why we're protecting um, our sources of income and our ability to earn an income. All right, so we, we've built some wealth with our cash flow processes. We're budgeting, we're saving, we're investing. Uh, we've uh, established a small source of passive income that will slowly snowball uh, over time. We've understood the various aspects of protecting our wealth in terms of shielding from taxes, growing at a rate faster than inflation, and ensuring our, our sources of income. So eventually over time, okay, we, we tighten things up as our net worth grows. And, you know, when we pass, we can't take all of this with us. we got to leave it to our heirs or to any organization. You can leave your assets to charitable organizations if you like. And that's basically passing on your wealth. Or if you're leaving it to family, you're building generational wealth. So we're looking for tax-efficient solutions. And by the way, you can't die in free, for free in South Africa. No, no. You've got to pay the debt taxes. And if you don't plan for that, it's an awful thing. There's a range of debt taxes. And we talk about it in our state planning masterclass. Uh, the range of uh, taxes that you've got to pay upon your death to ensure that... Um, your assets pass on to your family. It's horrendous. It's, and a lot of people don't understand it. And the thing is, we're all going to pass. <laughs> and we got to know those processes. And we got to... So we have to prepare for our passing, understand what taxes are due, because um, if our families cannot pay those debt taxes, our assets will be seized. SARS will take them, sell them off at whatever uh, they need to sell it in order to, for them to recoup their taxes. And obviously, when it comes to estate planning, you're winding off your estate, the attorney is involved. And when an attorney is involved, it can get very expensive. So we want to plan for this. Uh, before it actually happens, uh, instead of leaving uh, our families with the, with this burden because it's an awful thing for them to go through. And unfortunately, once it's done or once you pass, nobody can help you. You're stuck in the process. Right? So plan for it in advance. So just to summarize uh, about the, the financial success framework, firstly, it's building wealth active income and passive income and understanding the processes of effectively using your active income to build passive income. So we've got to master the budgeting and the saving process. We want to, once we set up uh, our investments, our passive income and these uh, assets that generate us an income, we want to preserve that. We want to protect it. We want to keep, we want to keep that cash flow. We want to keep that appreciation. We want to be tax efficient. We've got to understand the, the role of inflation in our wealth building and in our strategies. And we've got to protect our, our wealth and protect our sources of income. Then we want to prepare for passing this wealth over to our families. We've got to prepare for the death taxes and obviously passing everything over in the most efficient, tax efficient manner.